Hey everybody, Michael here from TC with Josh Smith. What's happening, man? Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Good to be back in Nam. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely, right? i have still, you know, I feel like I'm 13 when I'm at Nam. I'm not one of those dudes who are like, oh, it's Nam. I'm tired. I don't want to go anymore. No, I love it. It makes me feel like a kid. I'm still a gear nerd. That's good. So, yeah. yeah. And um, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a little bit with some of the Amworks pedals. Okay. The new 2290, which you've made some of the presets, right? Yeah, yeah. So I've used 2290 for many years, off and on, in different studios. Grew up, you know, knowing about it, seeing my heroes use it. Uh, Robin Ford was big for me. He loved yeah. the 2290. Um, so that's my favorite sound. The duck delay, short slapback. It's an amazing sounding unit. It always was and I'm glad it's back. Oh, that's good. Well, so first of all, let's talk a little bit, bit about the signal chain here. Okay. We're simply going into the SUS of our overdrive pedal here, into the Congo Deluxe. You chose to, to work on that. And uh, we're going from the output without the DI because we're running it through the impulse using one of the, the impulse responses in that. And we can also play a little bit with that to, to tweak the tone a little bit. Other than that, we're going through the SEF, not using that today, into the 2290. Let's, uh, let's start with the, the first preset. Is the 2290 before this? No, it's... Or it, after? It's after. And then also we... But before this? Actually, after that. That's what I was wondering. Okay. Yeah, so it's... So it's kind of like on in the studio. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think actually it works best that way. For this, yeah. With, with this kind well, of... for this, with an impulse, I would think, yeah. Yeah, and for like a more like hi-fi hi yeah. delay. Yes. So tell me about, <clears throat> this was a slap, slap delay yeah. thing, right? So this preset has two delays, uh, two separate delays, two different slapbacks, a short one and a less short one, a okay. little bit longer okay. one. It's my Robin. I saw him, and as a kid, I remember he always had 116 here on, yeah. his, on his 2290, and I, I heard that, and that, that was it, you know okay. what I mean? And it's just... It's a great sound. Yeah, that's an awesome tone. Thanks, I mean, man. <clears throat> super classic. Oh, yeah. It yeah. sounds very much like something I've heard you play with. Oh, yeah. Before. And then, so A is. 167 milliseconds. That's very specific. Also one I saw Robin do. Let's uh, make it a little less wet. But it's a little longer, but still a slap. Uh -huh. But... So why would you use uh, this one over the shorter one? Um, this one is is for sparser moments. Uh, like when I play in a trio, I use that one more. Okay. When my guitar is way out front, I, I like the, the longer delay. I mean, it's so short still, it's kind of like a reverb, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the really short one is what I use more for like every day, the normal in a big band context. It's for me more than the audience, you know what I mean? It's just that, that little, bounce that when you combine it with actual reverb it kind of fills things out uh, that one is a little more audible the little yeah. longer one yeah so do you use uh, spring reverb in your amps always yeah spring time? reverb in my amps okay yeah. okay so that's also what we got here it's also on with the the combo deluxe yeah the spring reverb at like a healthy five i can see i'm i'm a reverb guy yeah spring reverb yeah. guy for sure yeah. that's good so this is actually recorded from uh an actual gibbs tank so that's also why it gets so so close to the original. That you can really hear the spring. Yeah. If you like, like, uh, like do like a, a quick tap on it, and sort of like say it's like grippy. Yeah. Sort of, uh, How, where's like the dwell setting from like a tank? We, yeah, we don't. It's we, it's Is like it like a preset though. Is it? Did it have that? No, it doesn't. It's it's sort of like we wanted to do like the, the philosophy of these pedals to be very much what you see is what you get. It's limited. But that's also where some of the freedom comes in because sure well you got what you got and you've got to play with it yeah so 
cool. We did, however, put a tone tone knob on the reverb, so we can adjust that a little bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. it sounds good. I, you know, I'm I'm normally pretty fortunate that I don't often find myself in situations where I need to use amp sims or IRs yeah. or I never wear in ears. I'm still out there uh, slugging it away with loud ass amps all the time. Well, I'm lucky as far as that goes. You are, and I, to be honest, it is it is also the best. Whenever oh. you do a little bit like that, it is a compromise. Absolutely. But, Without question, but it's also really useful and purposeful for certain things. I mean, there's a hundred percent great reasons why it exists and why often it's the right tool for the job. Yeah. What's funny to me is when everybody tries to explain how it's just like the real thing yeah. and it can replace the real thing. I don't think that's the point. No. I think it's just totally those agree. jobs that the real thing can't do. Yeah. And vice versa. And that's the way you should look at it. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Should we jump on to the other, the longer, longer yeah. presets? Yeah, so 37, let me, uh, there we go, is a longer delay, 400 milliseconds. Okay. Uh, it's really, that's, that's really long. <laughs> and then on B, it is, wait, there it is. Okay. Let's turn the wetness down a little bit. So that's more for like like ambient stuff or, yeah. or what? This is my, you know, trying to approximate the way David Gilmore used the oh. 2290. So this is for a single note, you know. Sounds lovely. Do, do you play? Do you use a tone like that when you play live? Uh, very much. So. You do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not only the, the slap back. Not only the, the slap. Normally I will have the slap on always and I will add another delay on top. I see. So, like on most of my boards, the slap is I have a very similar tone print inside the TC flashback. Yeah. So, most of my boards have a flashback mini no matter what. Okay. Because I can leave it on that shortest slap that I always want to get to. I have one of those on every pedal board I own. Um, and then I'll often just change what I use for long things. Yeah. So sometimes it's another preset in the flashback. Um, sometimes it's another pedal. I like uh, Echo Rec style pedals. So oh, I have yeah. a few pedals that do that sound for the vintage longer thing. Just depends. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think I promised a little bit about the impulse. So yeah. right now we were listening to a 10 inch. So. Um, Let's try and hit it with a 12, also classic for... All right, so it's cream, maybe a cream back 12, it says? Yeah, yeah. I'll try that one. <laughs> Funny enough, it's actually creamy. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a... Let's try another one. It's like really scoopy. Yeah, it's a Mesa Boogie cabinet. Is it? We've got an angle. Well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it sounds like a big closed back 412. Awesome. So, Josh, are you, are you playing any gigs here at NAMM while you're here? None at NAMM. I'm actually only here today. Okay. Uh, I have two records that I'm producing, literally starting tomorrow. Oh. A record with Joe Bonamassa tomorrow, who I work with a lot. And then next week, my friend Andy Timmons, great guitar player. Oh, yeah, yeah, love it. I yeah. produced his last record, and people liked it, so he asked me to do another. So that one we're doing at my studio uh, starting next week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, that sounds awesome. Looking yeah. forward to hearing that. Yeah, yeah, it should be great. Yeah. Well, thanks for checking in here. I really appreciate that. And uh, also for you guys watching back home. Thanks, TC, for the support over the years, always. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you.